water benders what is up it's your girl raven aka the pink panther patty rainbow bright what is up i hope you guys are doing well this morning i certainly am so is my dog Odin. we're just chilling you know um a little bit of news about Odin though um he injured his foot i believe when he was outside playing in the snow a little bit so you might see him limping a little bit in the background he's gonna be fine Okay, so anyways, uh, let me give you a little bit of uh, background about what I'm about to do here, okay? This will be for my waterbender energies. This, These are my water signs, my Cancer, my Scorpio, my Pisces energies. You may not be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. You may just have someone in your chart, and therefore this may still resonate for you. I just ask that you take what resonates and you leave what does not. Cross watchers are welcome to watch as well. And before I get started, my waterbenders, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for all the love and support that you're showing my channel. All the thumbs and up, subscribe, and uh, all the comments, and sharing your stories with me and everything. Thank you guys so much, and God bless you all, okay? All right, so let's get into your energy, my waterbender energies. Holy Spirit, can you please tune me into the frequency of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio? Show me, please, what is going on in their energy. <clears throat> okay. This dog always insists on sitting behind the camera. Odin, come on back. Come on, you gotta move. I know. I, I hate making you move because your leg hurts. Sit down. Sit. Sit down, baby. Good boy. Thank you. All right, let's see. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, if you're questioning whether or not this Taurus energy is involved, confirmation. Okay, if it has anything to do with a Taurus, this is your confirmation. Taurus um, can also be seen as the Empress card in um, Tarot as well. She shares it with Libra. Um, let's see, what else? It may be time for shadow work here, my waterbender energies, okay? Someone here could be a fucking idiot for doing something. And someone here may have a same-sex crush on you. Okay, it says thank you. Someone here could be from the hood, from the projects. Let's see. One more for waterbenders. What else, Holy Spirit? Okay, I'm going to take what's on the top. I'm not going to take this whole stack. Someone here could be using some glamour magic. Okay, all right, um, let's get into your reading. Let's see what's going on, my waterbender energies. Okay, so <clears throat> you're about to receive confirmation for something, or like I said before, this could be confirmation that you're, you know, something about a Taurus energy, somebody, uh, earth, you know, earth sign energy. Um, okay. Holy Spirit, please tune me into the frequency of my water bender energies. That's my Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energies. Okay, that's a lot. Can you please give me the confirmation? What is the confirmation that we're receiving here? All right. Confirmation that you were hexed or cursed or someone was trying to cause you some sort of misfortune here? Hating on you? <laughs> What's the curse and the confirmation? They were trying to hate on you because of your shine, because of your worth, because of your extravagance, because you get what you need, you get what you want. You may be highly creative. You have a very creative imagination. Um, your inner child, like you're, you glow. You're fun to be around. You know, you, you, you know, someone here, this is your confirmation here. There's someone here was trying to hate on your shine. They were trying to hate on your creativity, who you are, what, you know what I'm saying? What people love about you. They were really hating on that. Okay. All right, what else for confirmation? Yeah, someone here was trying to cause conflict or you may have had some sort of fight or quarrel with them, a dispute, difference of opinion. Let me call out some angel numbers for this confirmation. Uh, 4029... Or 6330. And or both. 
So you're receiving confirmation here about some sort of hex or curse or misfortune, uh, catastrophe to happen as far as you getting what you wanted or what you deserve or what you really desire. Or someone here, like I said, may have been trying to curse your, your worth, your extravagance here, how you're being seen because you're very creative, you're fun to be around. You know, someone here could be very immature as well and starting fights all the time. Maybe this has something to do with your job, your profession. You may have many talents here. Maybe very gifted, very talented. Your expertise. Yeah, this could be work. This could be work related mess. We have collaboration here, which is like building something, working together on something, backup unity enhancement. So you someone an investigation man went down and maybe somebody discovered that somebody was keeping him bound or stuck in a contract or something like that. So again, this could be <clears throat> this could be love, friendship, or business related, but somebody here was causing a lot of conflict here. Just hating on you. And you may have gotten evidence that this person was really doing all this. Confirmation. <sighs> the energies that be. Hmm. Alright, what's this Taurus energy for my water benders? <clears throat> okay, this Taurus energy may have learned a lesson. You may have learned a lesson with this Taurus energy. They're about to learn a lesson. What's the lesson here? You may have taught them a lesson. They taught you a lesson. <laughs> you learned that this Taurus energy was causing a disturbance in your life that was blocking your unconditional love or blocking you or, uh, or causing some sort of misfortune or just like evil eye and just negative intentions. Like they're a monkey on your back about you being with someone else. Maybe <clears throat> you could represent unconditional love. You could be unconditional love. You can give unconditional love. You could be beloved by many. You may, um, have a baby on the way or something like that with somebody else and somebody and this Taurus energy learned about this information. They learned that you were moving on, maybe, and they decided to cause a disturbance here because they saw that you were getting care and support or that, that you're about to have a baby. Again, baby, baby, baby. And then, look, we got marriage here and then seeds, like origin. So, yeah, somebody here, this Taurus energy here, may have discovered that you were moving on from them or something, and they decided to, to, to send evil intentions your way or shady intentions your way or something like that. They wanted to hex a curse your, you know, your sweetheart connection, the cup, your relationship, or just your ability to be a sweetheart, your ability to, you may be very supportive. Somebody wanted to take down your support system to stop people from caring about you. And I mean, you may be ready to get married because you're about to have a baby with this individual, or maybe this is someone you're married to. Maybe someone here is very dependent. So you learned here that this Taurus energy or... Someone was in a Taurus-like energy. You learned that they were in the background doing something, or you could be a Taurus. Cross watchers are welcome, you know. You may be a Taurus watching this and realizing that somebody in the water sign energy was hexing a curse in your connection. Take it how it resonates, okay? It's time for shadow work. Hey, commitment. Okay, um, binding, obstruction, contract. So you may have decided to go inside and do some shadow work about what was keeping you stuck here. What's this commitment? Shadow work card reminds me of the hermit too in tarot, which is like wisdom, your inner guidance, things like that. So you might have went, went deep inside and did some inner healing work or something like that. Um, but someone here did some shadow work or it's time for them to do shadow work to find out why they're being stuck in something. Maybe they're stuck living in the past here, memory. Um, uh, maybe they're looking at photos, remembrance, commemoration, reunion. So someone here that may want to reunite with you just to get you stuck. Maybe they need to do, uh, shadow work. Maybe you need to do shadow work to, um, excuse me, for you to like kind of sort things out about something that may have happened in the past that kept you stuck. Like, you know, like you may be trying to eliminate a pattern or behavior here that, that you keep repeating that's keeping you stuck here. We have apology here. Okay, guilt, confession, forgiveness. Somebody wants forgiveness. So hold on a second. Let me let me read this out. Let me get some angel numbers for you too. Um, angel number 2757 or 2103, 213 or 2136. 3420 or 2071, <clears throat> excuse me, can be of significance here. 
You have to Google the angel numbers, unfortunately. I don't know them all by heart. <laughs> Not that good. <laughs> okay, so... Someone may have confessed to you something that they did in the past that kept you stuck. They may have put you in, a, like, if this is spiritual war, they may have put you in a contract with an evil entity or something or try to, like, attach something to you. What's this apology? They feel sorry about something they invested in. Real estate, wealth, investment, mega project. Angel number 717, 7170. What's real estate? Somebody invested in something that made them sick or made them weak. Something that's fragile, illness, disease, weakness, fragility. Something made... Hold on. Someone here feels sick because they may see you moving on and, and being wealthy and investing in a mega project and they feel sorry and they want to confess and, um, and ask, you know, ask for forgiveness. And they want to maybe reunite with you, but only to keep you stuck, it seems as though. Let me move on here. I'll get some tarot out. We'll get it clarified, okay? What's this uh, fucking idiot for my waterbenders? Okay, somebody needs help, mercy, charity, kindness. Somebody is at your mercy right now, or you might be at their mercy, something like that. Somebody's an idiot because now they need help. Or maybe they're an idiot because they try to help somebody and maybe they got screwed over or something. What's the aid in the fucking idiot? Yeah, somebody took a risk to help somebody. Somebody may feel like a fucking idiot here, okay? Um, really feeling like the, the weight of the decision they made to help somebody. They took a risk and they ended up in survival mode. <laughs> trying to survive this mess they put themselves in trying to help somebody so this may i was this all may have started by you trying to help somebody that you thought that I mean that you felt was in need what's the dis natural disaster this may be a person who creates their own disasters in their life and then they ask for help yeah insidious signs um ominousness so you may have been seeing so the universe may have been giving you signs about this energy you know, picture frame, pictures and stuff may have been breaking around the house or whatever. If you're married to this person or you're together, whatever. Take out resonates here. So you were giving signs here or someone here was giving signs that this was not an energy that they should really interact with. Somebody here may have had insidious goals. Or maybe somebody's goal was to keep you stuck in confusion or something like that. What's the, um, what else is the fucking idiot? Okay, it's in reverse, but we have merit making, goodness, humanness, morality. Angel number 1738 or 8264 could be of significance here. So someone here who has good morals, someone here has a good heart, they like to help people, you know, spiritualist, this could be a spiritual teacher, you name it. Someone here thought that they would do good, make good on their morals by trying to help someone here and they took a risk and they ignored the signs around them to not help they ignore those red flags like a mug and they kept on going so now they feel stupid because maybe they got hurt what else okay we have triumph here so somebody here may want a victory after this success victory achievement let me see someone feels an idiot because Instead of helping you, all they did was cause disaster for you, okay? You came out victorious. You came out on top. But somebody here was really, 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 you know, really pulling on your heartstrings for help, and they really tried to sink you when you helped them or something like that. It's like, it's like in other words, it's like you were trying to help somebody, and, I mean, you helped them, but they didn't seem to, rest I don't know, something's weird. Let me move on. What is this uh, same-sex crush on you for my waterbenders? Okay, somebody here um, that you may have gotten into a fight with. Someone here wants to uh, come to agreement. Um, someone here wants you to take them into consideration, <laughs> maybe. 
Like maybe you're, um, I mean, there's no judgment here, okay? LGBTQ is welcome, you know, all around, you feel me? But love is love. That's, that's all that matters to me. But what I'm saying here is that you may not have been, you may not be, you know, a person to date, you know, the same sex or something like that. Or maybe you've never done that before. And maybe this is a associate or a friend of yours that has a crush on you. And they want to maybe, you know, come to a compromise or agreement. Or maybe they want to come to you and see if maybe you would consider them as an option. What else? Or this could be a karmic same sex on you energy whose goal is to really hurt and strategize against you. We have um, strategy, accident, and goal. Okay. Angel number 3326. 4816 could be of significance here. What else? So this is someone, so this person that wants to come to you and at, and try to compromise with you or come to agreement or reconciliate with you, their goal is really, they're trying to like really see how they can hurt you. So someone, you may know this person has the same sex crush on you. You may be aware of it. You know, you may not bother you, whatever. It's not a big deal. It wouldn't be to me. I mean, a crush is a crush, you know, as long as, I mean, whatever you decide to do with it is whatever. But my point though is that, is that they, this particular person may come and approach you after you've cut them off for the karmic situation they've put you in or put you through and they may come off as though oh yeah i'm a gift you know i want delight here i want to help you you know um you know i want to i want to shine with you i want to rise with you i want to help you out or something like that and really they're just trying to get in your head to see how they can hurt you and stop you from elevating spiritually man if these karmics would put this much energy into getting a job and and like a real not even just a job, just a real life. If these karmics would put this much energy into their own lives, they could have a glow up that surpassed anybody. Not that that matters, but I'm just saying like people are just so focused on what the next person is doing. It gets on my damn nerves. I'm trying not to curse, you know, but it gets on my motherfucking nerves. It really, really does. He looks so pitiful when he walks. Okay. Okay, sorry. Anyways, let me get, uh, let me move on. I'll get some tarot out and we'll get this. All right, what is this from the hood? The bricks, what is this? You might have met this person in the hood. You might be from the hood. Y'all might have prayed together or did some sort of religion or did, you might have did your charity work or something in the hood with this person. Who knows? Um, you may have just had a come up, humble beginnings, you know? I mean, like, you know, small beginnings, you know. Um, someone here from the hood did not want to listen. You may have been praying for this person. Praying because you knew they weren't listening to you because they're arrogant. Someone may have a, someone may be a religious, someone here may be religious, but they're very arrogant. Like, you know, they're not, you know, they're, they're, they're all about their religion, but they don't want to hear anything other than what they believe. This could be that energy, 5877, what else? Someone that you think of family, someone you have a family with or a family bond with. Someone you may have chilled with at some point, made a stack of money with at some point in the hood. Somebody that you thought was okay to plan and organize things with. But then you discover soon after that they were just looking to take from you. And they were just watching to see what you could gain. Or what they could gain from this. Which is, da 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 da, you're a treasure. Waterbenders, what is up with this world? Again, if they would take this same fucking energy and just apply it to their own fucking lives and their own business... They would get so much farther ahead than they would trying to fuck somebody else. Should. That's what makes me mad. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm, I, I know I get loud. I apologize. I forgot the mic's like this close, so I'm sorry. I don't mean to scream at you, okay? But my point, though, is that people spend so much time and energy worrying about what the hell somebody else got going on when really all they got to do is just mind their own business and they could easily have what you have and possibly more if they want that. Not that you can't, but I'm just saying, like, 
<clears throat> I mean, we all do foolish things in our younger days. We all learn lessons, but you know, I bet you this isn't even a young person. This is probably somebody older than you that's doing this shit. You might have ended a connection with them or something. Or somebody would try to bring an end into a, um, an everlasting connection here. You may have a true soulmate love, a new a twin flame, a real connection going on here, my water benders here. Somebody wanted to bring harm to it, death to it. What's this glamour magic? So we can move on. So they were trying to they were using glamour magic to pretend as though they were something that they not. Yeah. Bogus. Bogus, bogus bullshit. Self love. They weren't. They were using glamour magic to make themselves seem like they were full of self love, self healing. That they were independence. That they were imp the empress, like empress type energy. No, they're not. They, you know, this is a false look. Stop, break, pause, stagnation, promise. Yeah, someone was trying to give a false assurance or something here that they were the one for you or that you were the one for them. You know, take how it resonates here. Someone here was wearing glamour magic to make it seem as though they were in this self healing, self concerned, independent ass energy here, and that's a lie. What else? Yeah, they did this to bribe you or tempt you into something here. They were trying to bribe or tempt you into believing that you would see them as a blessing, as an enlightenment, as well-being, like a spiritual source. They wanted you to believe that they were calm, that they were had their inner peace, that they meditate, that they practice yoga, that they do all that good shit. And now they don't. Mm -mm. They don't. They don't, water signs. They don't. They mad as hell. Mad as hell, and they like the bully. A bully, bully exceedingly greedily, like they're gluttonous with their with their greed as far as bullying and this karmic behavior here. Because they love to, maybe they're suffering in persecution, but they want you to suffer too. Let's get into some tarot. <laughs> Whew. Okay, Holy Spirit. What deck do we want to use? We're going to use this one. Holy Spirit, please keep me tuned into the frequency of my water banner energy. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Can you please clarify for me what's going on in this energy right here? This confirmation. So you're going to receive confirmation, like I said, or you may have already received it. That, um, that someone's texting and cursing you because you are very, very much sought after. You know, you have desire, you're, you know, worth, extravagance, you're desired. Someone here wants to cause conflict so people don't want to work with you. Don't want to work for you. Don't want to work with you. You know. And you go right in front of the camera again. Hold on, I'm sorry. Sorry about that, I'm back. Okay, so... Okay, strength, Leo, energy. Let me do another shuffle, though. Holy Spirit, what is this situation? What is this confirmation about? A broken relationship. They didn't go nowhere. Two of Wands in reverse. Somebody's frustrated and stuck or feeling stuck in a broken connection or you broke up with somebody because you really felt like it wasn't going no fucking war. So they decided to hate on you. They're sad because you might be taking your cup of love elsewhere here. And they know it's no victory here with the Six of Wands in reverse. Oh, hold up. And then the Magician reverse too. Like someone here feels like they have no power. What's this Two of Cups reverse? Death. <laughs> you ended it. You dead at this shit because you got tired of all this fucking fighting and shit going on. Because this is an unhealing ass energy here. Queen of Cups in reverse. You know, jealous, you know, insecure in her emotions all the time. Somebody who needs to heal. It might be a mother figure. This could be a baby mama. This may be your wife. Uh, she's cancer energy. Somebody here who's not learned a lesson keeps repeating cycles here. The world reverse. What else? What's this two of wands reverse? Queen of swords in reverse. It could be upright two Libra energy here. You may have set boundaries with this person. Or if she's reversed with this two of wands here in the reverse, 
her emotions or it could be a masculine energy too. Take it how it resonates here. There's really no gender in tarot. But somebody here, their emotions is what keeps them stuck. They're not able to move forward because they rule with their emotions instead of their logic. They let their emotions run shit. And because of that, they miss opportunities. What's this Taurus energy? That's the truth. Spirit said, that's the truth. What's this Taurus energy? Okay. This Taurus energy is somebody whose Ten of Cups would be for you to be delayed and stuck and not knowing what to do, juggling. Like, somebody here wants you to juggle, be irresponsible. Someone here wants to you know, stop your opportunities from coming in, make you lose focus here. Like their happiness here would be that. What's this? Um, what else is this Taurus energy? Somebody's not happy. Someone here hides how unhappy they are. This is somebody here who holds their emotions inside. King of Cups, he, um, or someone here does not like the fact that you are well balanced emotionally. King of Cups, he's emotionally balanced in chaotic waters. He's very compassionate, very loving, but he can come off as cold because he doesn't really talk too much about his emotions. He doesn't show them on his sleeve, you know. Nine of Cups in reverse is like someone who overindulges in drinking or just, you know, because they're unhappy. Like, like a depressive drinker, like, you know, I'm trying to drink my sorrows away. You know, somebody here is just not happy. Someone here could be an alcoholic. This Taurus energy could be an alcoholic or overindulge in something. And maybe they're hiding this. Maybe you know this. Someone here is just, yeah. What, what's this Nine of Cups in reverse? Oh, hold on, that's just too much. That's too much. Okay, what's this nine of wands in reverse? I mean, nine of cups in reverse. I'm sorry. Somebody doesn't feel like it's fair that you walked away. Someone here hates the fact that you are emotionally grounded and stable here. That you you may have had a transformation, my waterbenders. You may have been actually the the opposite of that. You may have been struggling with. Um, your emotional stability. You may have been struggling with the things you wanted to do with yourself and which way you want to go in. You may not have not, you may not have always had your shit together. You know, around this energy, you had a glow up. You had a grow up and they saw you evolve out of the energy of, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know who I want to be. I don't know what mood I want to be in. They saw you evolve out of that energy and get your shit together spiritually, emotionally, and now physically on the 3D. And now they think it's unfair because you're walking away. Your karmic justice is you walking away, but they think it's unfair, that it's unbalanced, that you're walking away from their ass. Justice is Libra energy here. I think Nine of Cups is Scorpio. Eight of Cups, one of them is Scorpio, I think. Queen of Wands, you are highly favored, you're determined, you are focused, you're full of joy, you're sexy, everybody wants your ass, everybody's looking at you. What's this Queen of Wands? Yeah, you're like, a, dude, I can't make it up. You are the star of the motherfucking show here. Like, it, the judgment is like your stage. Like, you know, like, the sun is like your stage is what I mean to say. Judgment is like your spirit team backing you up on this. This is you going into your calling. You know, you know who you are. You've been enlightened to who you are spiritually. You know everything about yourself inside and out now. You may not have known that before. And you're taking that confidence and that and that uh, and you're taking that determination and you're moving forward on your path here. Definitely. You got a lot of options here. And you have the inner wisdom here with the hermit. That's Virgo energy. You may have been unbalanced uh before with the temperance reversed. Uh, Sagittarius energy you might have been out of balance and just afraid and confused about things with the moon reverse. But now you're sure who the hell you are. You know what you need to do. What else? What is this um time for shadow work? What is that about? Came out again. Temperance reverse. So you may be dealing with Sagittarius who um pushes themselves and others to extreme, who's impatient, trying to force divine timing. Like somebody here is out of balance, okay? Because they're heartbroken through your swords. So you may have been dealing with Sagittarius and this may be the karmic injury leaving behind and they're heartbroken here. Someone's out of balance here out of heartbreak. Someone here feels like they can't get their shit together. So you need to do some shadow work. Somebody here needs to do shadow work to balance their 3D and their 5D energies. Your 3D is the world as you see it. 5D is your spiritual energy. Your spiritual connection to the divine, to your source. What else for this time for shadow work? Damn. 
Six of Pentacles. What's the Six of Pentacles for shadow work? Knight of Swords in reverse. And then we got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Knight of Swords in reverse is scattered. He's a liar. He don't know what he wants to do. He's a coward. Um, Wheel of Fortune reverse means bad luck. The wheel's not turning to stuff. Somebody here is needs courage. Or they, they lack courage to move forward to do what they need to do in life. Okay? Someone here is always looking for a handout here because they're afraid to move for themselves. Somebody here definitely needs to heal. So shadow work definitely is recommended here. It definitely is. Yeah. What is this um fucking idiot energy? What is this? Someone here did something as an idiot and the magician. What's the magician? Hmm. You may have received some sort of truth about what somebody was conjuring up in the background here because they're an idiot. What else? Somebody, or, I mean, these are all happy cards. Ten of Cups upright and the Three of Cups. These are all celebratory cards. Somebody here is a fucking idiot because they may be, they may see that you are a great manifester, that you have a humongous spiritual gift and you have the ability to sway this magic sword you have in any direction you want to gain your Ten of Cups and celebrate. Somebody's watching you celebrate and they're feeling like a fucking idiot. Okay, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is Gold Digger energy. We already talked about that, didn't we? Did that come out? I thought that did. But anyways, no, I didn't. Not in this reading. Maybe it was another reading. Anyways, not a pickles in reverse is gold digger slacker energy. Like somebody who lives beyond their means, all they're worried about is the coin, all that. So somebody here feels like an idiot because they're watching you manifest and do all this good stuff and celebrate and all this and that. And they're stuck worried and depressed because all that they can worry about is how they didn't succeed, how they didn't get a victory. And they feel stuck and blocked. Block, block, blocked from you. Like you're, you're tired of it. You're fed up with it. Let me move on to another deck. Okay, let me clarify this same-sex crush on you energy. What is this same-sex crush on you? <laughs> Somebody who's mad? I thought this paper cut it myself. Somebody's sad. Um, could be Taurus energy again. Hierophant, who's sad? <clears throat> mm, somebody maybe young minded uh, maybe some news here page of swords what's the side squirrel page of swords for the same sex crush mm. Taurus energy the higher fin in the full reverse somebody you may have been married to or somebody who's married or somebody who's religious or something like that that's foolish Who's hesitant, who's holding back on something, who's afraid to free, free and change. This same sex crush on you is sad because they're gaining news here about you. You may be getting married or something's happening for you. you you're doing, you're making moves in life that they can't make. They have a crush on you because they admire you, it seems. What else is the same sex crush on you? You're doing things that they can't do for themselves, waterbenders. Damn. Yeah, this is an energy here who can't manifest, who is just out of balance again. And the tower again. Strong Sagittarius energy. I'm going to keep it out this time. It's the temperance card. Reverse. Did I already leave it out once already? I may have already done that. That temperance already. Hmm. Maybe it didn't. Okay, well, anyway, my point, though, is that this Sagittarius energy is very, very heavy in this reading, okay? You may not be Sagittarius, but somebody here is facing a tower here because they were trying to force or divine, they were trying to force divine timing or really mess with fate here. You know, what? You know, this may have something to do with a scam, too, with a page of pentacles in reverse or just somebody who just is unable to get things working for themselves. Someone here has very poor skills as far as manifesting or they can't do what you do. Okay, they can't do what you do. They try to, they try to force it, they try to fake it and seem as though they're the star of the show. Yeah, I got it going on. I can do it like she does or like he does. And no, no. 
So they may be experiencing a tower or an ego death or something like that. What's from the hood? Bad luck, will of fortune reverse conflict. Somebody here with a hood mentality here, they keep themselves stuck with lots of bad karma causing conflict and things like that. You know, look, two of wands are reversed. They can't make future plans. They don't know what to do. Maybe very childlike minded, immature here. What else with this from the hood? You might have ended this connection with them because you saw that there was no satisfaction here to be had. Because this person kept keeping you in third party situations with the three of cups reversed. Someone here may have transformed. They maybe used to stay in the hood or had a hood mentality, and maybe you transformed your thinking here. You you had a end, I mean, some sort of ending occurred here because something was just not. There was no wish fulfillment here. That like, look, mount, the milestone cannot be reached here. Four of wands in reverse. There's nothing to celebrate here. Okay, what is this glamour magic? I mean, to the point where someone is actually taking out the energy to try to make themselves out to be somebody or not. I mean, you could just simply take that energy and just work on yourselves. I mean, why try to make yourself be something that you're not? I mean, you can be Ace of Cups. Okay. Somebody here was using glamour magic here. But I tell you, Ace of Wands. I like how he's actually wearing like the witch's hat and stuff. Someone here is using witcher, I mean, ugh, using glamour magic here to make it seem like they had a lot of love and um, that they were full of love, that they were unconditional love. I mean, the Ace of Cups also talks about your intuition and things like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Someone was trying to make it seem like they were this big wizard of love. Like, you know, like they had all this power, that they were unconditional, that they, you know, loved everything and everybody here. You know, that they were full of strength. They, they were full of compassion empathy they were using glamour magic here to keep them out of the code and 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 you know someone here did not want to be responsible for their own life to be real with you somebody here's lazy this is the energy of somebody who would do who wants to do glamour magic because they're too lazy to get a job to keep themselves out of homelessness or they're too lazy to want to take on the responsibility of whatever it takes to have that energy of that ace of cups ace of wands like you know like seriously like someone's like i'd rather just do the magic i don't want to do the healing work i don't want to go i don't want to learn the karmic lessons and in ascending vibration i just want to look like i've done that i want to be i want to appear as though that's what i am i want to appear look they want to appear as though they've completed a chapter that they are the world here that they are you know yeah What else? Some fake ass energies out here. I'm telling you, I don't give a fuck. It is. It's fake. You may have kids with this person. Six of Cups or something from the past. What's the Six of Cups? Yeah, you left this energy behind already. You're, you're done with them. They're mad because you walked away from them. And so they thought they'd do some glamour magic to try to get you to come back. Okay, six of cups, you know, the eight of cups and then the ten of swords. Like someone betrayed you and you decided that this is over with. I'm done. Okay, this glamour magic shit did not work. <clears throat> you walked away from it. It didn't work. Okay, you decided to end this shit. And with the ten of swords, with every ending, there's a new beginning here. So you decided that, you know what, I want to be happy here. You know, like, this is this is foolishness. This is not, you know, someone here, this could also represent that someone was trying to ten of swords or ten of cups. <laughs> someone was trying to bring an ending to your ten of cups because they're not happy. How can I let you be happy when I'm not happy? Happy squirrel in reverse. <laughs> you know, you're happy, but they don't want you to be happy. I like how the sad squirrel is, is, is in the deck, too, with the happy squirrel. Like, they're sad squirrel, you're happy squirrel, but they try to make you a sad squirrel like them. But don't you see, can't you see how, like, okay, even though the happy squirrel is reversed, he still looks happy. Like you may, so someone may have taken you down for just a fraction of a second, but then you, shit, you bounce back. 
So now everyone's like comparing and contrasting it to like, okay, she was wearing this glamour magic pretending like she was this, but I, I just see this now. Like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. Someone hermit reverse. Like, this is not who, this is misleading information here. Like, somebody was trying to mislead somebody and to try to make them think that they were this happy squirrel and really they're the sad squirrel here. <laughs> Virgo energy. Lord have mercy. Okay, let me get you some advice here. <laughs> I'm going to get some angel cards. Holy Spirit, can you please give me some angel advice for my lovely water benders? That's my Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. What's the advice here? Indigo. The person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive, natural-born leader. Okay. All right. A lot of you guys may not know that much about what an indigo is, a star seed. Indigo is more like a star seed, like you're a special divine person. You're a whole alien over here. You have a special mission, okay? Um, this could be you or the person you're inquiring about, or maybe both of you guys. You have a destined mission, destined mission here, okay? Um, you're highly sensitive to, um, other people around you, emotions and things like that. It makes you stand out. And because of that, you may have always felt like you were different in that sense. And, you know, thought something was wrong with you. No, it's just that you have a different mission in this world than everybody else. And because of that, you have different emotions. You react to things differently. You're sensitive to different things. Okay. Ascended masters, powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. So you have ascended masters. Your spirit team is watching you always. They're always ready to help. And your, uh, your angels, too. Call on them, okay? Now, um, I strongly recommend that you Google the indigo um, child thing or really just star seed if you don't understand because it's really, it's not complicated. It's just that I don't, I would have to go into like a, at least a good 10 minutes just to do it justice. And, and I don't really think a lot of people want to sit here and listen to it because they may already know what one is. Okay. Um, but yeah, you are, you, you are special. Okay. Bottom line. What else? It doesn't mean nobody else is special. It just means that you have a special role here. Okay. We're going to do these two. Third eye chakra. It is safe for you to see the energy of love in all of its forms, such as angels, auras, and visions. Okay, your third eye chakra could be opening and may have already been open, okay? It is safe for you to see this energy of love in all its forms, okay? So you may be seeing auras, just visions, just things like that. Like, you're highly sensitive, you know what I'm saying? So Spirit is saying that if you're seeing these things, it's okay. You know, it is safe for you to see. This is love. Love is not openly present in this world, so it does stand out when you do get visions of it, okay? It's okay. Singing and dancing. Express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement. Part of your um, spiritual gift is probably rooted in you um, dancing and singing. You know, um, express yourself, awaken your, um, your psychic senses through this. You know, liven yourself up if you feel down and out or just really stressed out over this situation right here or something like that. You know, turn on some music. It doesn't matter what kind, as long as it's enjoying to you, you know. You know, dance, move around, get, that, get those chakras flowing, you know what I'm saying, get your blood flowing, you know. You know, dance around. You know, I dance with Odin all the time. I can't now because his leg is hurting. <laughs> but anyways, that is going to conclude your reading, my waterbenders, okay? I really hope that you enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed reading for you, okay? That was really entertaining, okay? It, it's wild, the, the level of bullfuckery that people will go through to try to hold you back when they could just simply work on themselves, you know? Anyways. Thank you so much for watching the video, for hanging out with me and Odin. All my returning subscribers, God bless you. Thank you so much for rocking and rolling with me and my new people. What's up? I really hope that you're enjoying the, the channel. Um, God bless you all. I'm going to get out of here, and I will see you guys in the next reading, okay? Bye.